All right, Hems family, this is the part of me many of you all may not be aware of. When my mother got sick with dementia, uh, Alzheimer's about 15 years ago, or maybe a little bit even, maybe even longer than that, um, I started a journey of researching natural medicines, uh, herbs, um, vitamins, supplements, things like that. And even before then, my wife started getting into uh, alternative sources of milk, like almonds milk, like almond milk, goat milk, things like that. So we started this health journey, just learning about, um, you know, how foods are processed, how things happen so we can try to eat better, live better. And of course, um, I wanted my, I wanted to keep my mother, uh, as healthy as possible while she goes through this journey uh, of dementia. And it's been many, many years and she's still here. Um, so the first thing I want to talk to you all about is this reading labels. You have to read the labels of the stuff that you are considering buying. Okay. Like for instance, uh, organic buttermilk pancakes. Mmm. Doesn't that look good? But guess what? We have to turn it over to the other side and figure out how many carbs are in a serving of pancakes, all right? And this is 29 grams of carb uh, in one half cup mix. It's about 11 servers per container. So that's how we find, that's, that's how we figure out uh, whether we can eat this or not, or whether we can afford to eat this or not based off of what's on this label. And dietary fiber is important because the fiber helps the sugar process through our body. Uh, and so the more fiber you have in something, the better off your digestive system will be in processing that sugar. But look at the eight grams of sugar and the five grams of added sugar. And down here, there's no vitamin D, no calcium, no iron or potassium. But guess what? It's very good. So my thing is, man, I want these pancakes but how am I going to deal with the fact that it's got all of this? I really want some buttermilk pancakes. Well, you go to the store and you start thinking about what else can I get that will help so I can enjoy some pancakes and still uh, have a great breakfast. So I went and found these keto pancakes. Look, six grams of net carbs. So we're going from 29 grams down to six. And we got six grams of net carbs. Look at this. One third cup of milk. I mean, one third cup mix. And this makes about, you know, two pancakes. And look, 19 grams total carbohydrates, total sugars, one gram, zero added sugars. Now, when you see sugar alcohols, they're talking about plant based sugars like uh, monk fruit or stevia or something like that. And with sugar alcohols, they are great sugar substitutes. You just don't want to eat too much of it uh, in one day because sometimes it can uh, mess with your digestive system. And that means that that's if you overindulge in sugar alcohol. So down here, yes, it has some nutri more nutritional value than those those regular buttermilk pancakes. You see we got 150 milligrams of calcium, 90 milligrams of potassium. So these keto pancakes here are going to be all right. Now, you're probably thinking, well, man, how does it taste? Well, guess what? It tastes great, but it'll taste even greater if you add some cinnamon to it. And if you looked up cinnamon, cinnamon helps with blood sugar, blood sugar control. So add cinnamon to it all you want. Maybe add some vanilla extract. If you got some vanilla extract, always try to buy organic if you can. But if you don't, Put a couple of drops of vanilla extract in it. Amen. And mix all that together with, with some water, no milk, with some water only. Man, you got some good pancakes. Put some turkey sausage or some bacon with it or even some oatmeal. You know, I mean, you got all these different options to eat breakfast that really is healthy. And let me tell you something else I discovered. Let me go over here to my, uh, go over here to my, um, refrigerator. Amen. Because guess what? Who wants pancakes with no syrup? Oh my gosh, we gotta have syrup. So guess what I found? I found this RX Sugar, RX Sugar Organic Maple Flavored Syrup. As you can see, it is no non-GMO, it is organic and it's keto. 
and it is flavored with a substance called allulose, which is a what? Plant-based sugar, okay? So you can use this, and I'm telling you, I'm a witness, it tastes pretty good. You can use this on your pancakes instead of maple syrup. And look what it says, plant-based blood sugar friendly. Oh boy, isn't that great? Now, this is not cheap, okay? Anything that's processed is going to be cheaper. This cheap, but it lasts a long time. So let me encourage you to, this is breakfast right here. Get this, you can put any kind of protein with it, like bacon, a sausage, anything like that, and you will have a great meal, less carbs, you'll have your protein, you'll have your, you'll have your, uh, your, uh, your, your keto pancakes or your keto waffles or whatever you want to make, and you'll have a great meal, and you will not spike your blood sugar while eating this meal and you'll be energized. You may want to put some green tea with it or some, some, you know, some coffee or whatever you want to put with it. Uh, but this is just some options and suggestions. And if you have more suggestions, post them below. All right. Take care, everybody.